today we're going to be doing a short garden tour of what's taking place on Benjamin's family farm. Now we've sat right here with our banana peppers. So currently I'm leaving this banana pepper to get ripe so that I could use the seeds and we plan to and get a little bit more peppers. The tree does not look too well as of recently. It doesn't look too well. This one is entirely dead. <coughs> I have a but that one is entirely dead, so that will be removed. And here we have just for home use. I would have used these two bags because we're no longer going to have here predominantly with scythe. We're going to be taking that, taking all the scythe out and moving them somewhere else. So here is going to be filled with things for home use and other things like that. This here is a melon gen or a bygone or eggplant as some may know it. I have two little carrots. So we want to see how those would do because carrots like soil that is really um, loose and that's exactly what this soil provides. And over here, if you looked at our Facebook video, nine days ago, we would have harvested all of this side. We harvested each and every one. Look at the growth already. So that's within a week and some. Look at the growth. And with it, the reservoir, we have nothing in there. So it has not been watered because I left it here because I knew that we were going to be um, taking out all of the bulbs to place it into that system there. So we're actually going to be moving the side from here and we're going to be trying it in an FT that's nutrient film technique we are going to be trying this in that type of system so that is right over here previously we had some pak choy here but since the hurricane of pak choy has been plagued with aphids so that's a little bit tedious you would see there are some side in this system here already that would have come from here when i harvested here same weekend summer ago i harvested it and those bulbs i would have pulled out so that they, they were exposed to the sun and the rain and everything so my husband just immediately moved them over into the system where we are intending to fill up with side so as you can see they are growing i mean those over there are still a lot bigger and it was harvested all at the same time so these are growing but look at that that's algae so you're looking down inside there you would see there's algae so our nutrients has to be redone we have to fill over the system and do the nutrients again i think at this point because i've seen all of this algae it means i hope you can see clearly it means we are going to have to wash all the system wash out the reservoir and make sure that we are really giving the cyber a good start because we want them to flourish onto our mer lettuce system so as you would see not all of our pipes have lettuce and that is because we would have realized that the lettuce was suffering from crown rot when they were not being formed properly and so we would have um, put some peroxide in our pipes in order to try to solve that situation that we were having and we realized that with some of the seedlings that the situation was solved but we were afraid to go ahead and plant more because we still saw some that were suffering so here's an example we still saw some that were suffering so yes yeah, so look at that so um we did not go ahead to plant anything more so what we know we have to do is just clean out the system and you know get rid get rid of it because look at that so the roots are fine the roots are white which means that the water is well oxygenated which means that the water even in the reservoir is not too hot but i guess every variety would have some issues so while this variety um 
is resistant to a lot of bugs and so forth there are other problems that would come so if you look at it some of them are doing really well so that's a big nice one there but the growth rate is still not as fast as usual I'm going to certainly clean out the system and just use some peroxide wash out all of the cups with some bleach and things like that just to get rid of anything that might you know be able to contaminate our system again melon gin pineapple melon gem that I put there and something doesn't look the same <laughs> but it's there and there's even a pipe running to it um, so let's see how that goes and if it's one thing I'm gonna do is build the trellis because that needs to run you see it is it cucumber is it watermelon what is it it's not pumpkin but look we have a flower so we know that these plants like to run so let's run I would have loved to do the trellis um, around the plants but because we have the weed barrier I don't want to be poking holes in it so that's why I did it like that on the outside so you know hopefully just how I rested there they at least have a little space to run and put their vines so we we'll see how that go if I find a next take I will put it right there and put some um, fine on it there so at least it could go that direction as well if it wants but I'm sort of confined in where I could put it but at least it has something so we would see how it goes it's not written in stone so if I need to change it I'll try to change it I'll see see what I can do that's better 